So in this video, I want to go through some examples of sketching quadratics, and I'm using what my calculator tells me. Now, I'm using the Casio ClassWiz FX991EX model here, and it's just a scientific calculator, but it can solve a quadratic equation, and it can tell me the coordinates of the vertex, so the minimal maximum point of the parabola. Um, I am not using a graphical calculator here, um, I'm just showing you how you can do it from a scientific like this. Now, not all scientifics are going to have the, that functionality, but this one does. You need to have that functionality for this course. So let's take a look at number one. So we're going to go on to menu, and then I'm going to scroll down to section A, so equation function, then choose polynomial 2 and polynomial degree 2, and I type in 3 11 and then minus 20. Okay, lock those in, press equals, and we get x1 is 4 thirds, then x2 is minus 5, and then I get minimum uh, minus 11 sixths for the x value and minus 361 over 12 for the y value. Okay, so let's draw it. So we have a parabola that is going through 4 thirds and minus 5. It's a positive parabola because we've got the coefficient of x squared is positive 3. Now, minus 5 is over to the side and 4 thirds is quite close to the y-axis. We know that this is in the bottom left-hand quadrant. So that means our curve looks something like this. So minus 5, there's the 4 thirds. This point is the minus 11 sixths minus 361 over 12. And that point is the only other point I'm interested in, which is when x is 0, which is going to be y equals minus 20. OK, and so that is my first sketch. OK, let's take a look at the second example. So. Let's plug those values in. So 8 minus 22 and 15. And we get x1 is 3 halves. x2 is 5 quarters. And then I'm told minimum is 11 eighths and minus 1 eighth. OK, so our vertex is in this bottom right-hand quadrant. And we've got 3 halves and 5 quarters. Um, so 5 quarters comes first, then 3 halves. So these two points are on the right-hand side here. So our parabola needs to do something like that. So this will be the 5 quarters. This will be the 3 halves. It's not to scale. It doesn't need to be. Uh, this is our minimum point, so 11 eighths minus 1 eighth. And this is where it crosses the y-axis, which is when x is 0, which is going to be 15. OK, and so that is the sketch for number 2. OK, number 3. So we have minus 4, minus 21, and then minus 27. So x1 is minus 9 quarters. x2 is minus 3. And then maximum this time, so maximum point, is minus 21 over 8 and 9 sixteenths. So our maximum point is up here, top left-hand quadrant. Um, it's a sad face parabola because of the minus 4 in front of the x squared. So we know it's going to be of that shape. And it's going through two negative points on the x-axis. So that means it's going to look something like this. 
Yeah. Now, um, of the two, minus nine quarters is going to come first. That's minus nine quarters there, and that's minus three. Then this point is minus 21 over 8, 9 over 16, our vertex. And this point is where it crosses the y-axis, which is when x is 0. So when x is 0, we're going to get y equals minus 27. OK. And there's our sketch for number 3. OK. Number 4 y equals minus 3x squared minus 12x take away 15. So I'm going to plug in minus 3, then minus 12, then minus 15. Now, my calculator is telling me that x1 is minus 2 plus i, and x2 is minus 2 minus i. I'll discuss those in a moment. The maximum point, it tells me, is minus 2 minus 3. OK. Now, the minus 2 plus i and the minus 2 minus i, what that's telling you is that the roots of the quadratic are complex. Uh, so it doesn't have any real roots. Now, if you don't do further maths, uh, you won't ever meet i's um, at level 3. OK, but you will definitely meet them if you went on to a degree course in mathematics. Um, further mathematicians will meet uh, the complex numbers. What it means for us is that the parabola doesn't intersect the x-axis. OK, so that means that because it's a negative number in front of the x squared, sad face parabola, it's going to be down somewhere here. OK, so the parabola is not crossing the x-axis. Now, we know that the maximum point is at minus 2, minus 3. So that's in this quadrant here. So the parabola needs to do something like that, where the maximum point is minus 2, minus 3. And the only other point we're interested in is where it crosses the y-axis, which is when x is 0. So that would be when y is equal to minus 15. And so that is our sketch for number 4.